Hello and welcome to Drawing with Jesse. And um, I wanted to get a photo for us to draw from of um, some animal eyes to continue that series of eyes that we started so long ago. Um, and when I was looking around, I found this lovely photo and um, it just was so cute. I thought, how much fun would it be to look at this little dude while we're drawing? So um, today we will be drawing this super cute dog. I'm going to give people another three minutes to find us while I'm getting my pencils out and putting things away. So this is where I'm painting. I'm getting ready for a big show right now. And so I am frantically painting and painting. And um, so I'm just getting everything out of the way so I can draw with you guys. And then I will be going back to painting for a while. And let's see. Alrighty. And so put out a little chat and let me know uh, where you're watching from, who you are, or maybe just your favorite thing to draw. And I used to always have a question of the day. Hmm. Okay, so my question of the day will be, what is your favorite month? Let's put that out there. And... Let's see? What is your favorite month? Let's see if we can make that text a little bigger. And Ooh. that was funny. Alrighty. What is your favorite month? Text. <laughs> so all right it is time hello and welcome october is your favorite month i love it well happy october and welcome and <laughs> tuning in from nebraska yay <laughs> yeah you do love the dog arts. So that's fantastic. And, um, oh my gosh, this guy is just so cute. So there's a link in the description to the, um, photographer. Um, the photo came from a place called Pixabay where a lot of photographers will share their work so that you can use them for things like this. And um, this photographer is Pix by Fran, and she has a number of uh, photos of this super cute dog. Oh my gosh. So, here we go. 
Um, and let's see, let's get an F4B pencil. So I'm just going to start mapping this guy in, right? Oh, this, this puppy looks <laughs> so soft. <laughs> just, I don't know, it seems like you'd want to just pick it up and snuggle it. I am just going to get him in right on this page and, uh, okay, so I always struggle with this having my paper so close to the um, table makes it harder to move my hand around, so I'm going to lift it up a smudge here and just kind of, oh, oh wow, I am on quite a delay. Let's see. Um, there we go. Um, okay, looks like it restarted. I hope I didn't lose you. Let me know. And let's see. Fingers crossed here. Just trying to check and make sure everything is still working as it's supposed to. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Live on YouTube. Sometimes it works, sometimes there's struggles. So I'm just going to map this guy in and. Let's see. Uh, there. So I'm not quite so close to the table. So I love that it's so flat looking. So I'm just going to get a nice little flat circle here for that head and some little arms coming out. There's just this little vignette where um, everything is centralized here and let's see I'm gonna start kind of double checking my um, you know whether it's fitting on my page the way I want so I'm just trying to get the angles the top of his head <laughs> bottom of his head here and looking at uh, how do those feet come out from there you know they go right off the photograph uh, I think that's that'll be kind of fun and interesting just have these little legs kind of going out this way there's an ear here and then the nose next to it and let me know if I'm drawing dark enough for you to see. And a little leg coming out this way. All right. And welcome. Okay, so I'm just going to get my edges a little bit closer and darker so you guys can see okay and let's see so I've got this general shape sort of a circle here and it was a little <laughs> it's just so cute I just thought this would be super fun to look at this guy for a while and uh, oh my goodness so I'm gonna stop Awesome. Thank you, Mukbone. Before I get any further and just say what is fun about this photo that I want to make sure to get in my drawing. And um, so those eyes are amazing, but also that super flat nose um, just has kind of smushed right there. So I'm going to try to get those eyes and that, and that nose and everything else is just bonus. Uh, 
so I'm just looking at like how much of the vertical space is that nose taking up and I'm gonna measure quick mm -mm -mm. Uh, a little less the let's see it's more than a third less than half I'm gonna put it right about there and there's something really nice about how the forehead looks flat, flat, flat right here, and then it kind of protrudes, the nose protrudes right there. <laughs> yeah, uh, I just, it would be very hard not to cart a little baby puppy around like just all day long. He looks so fluffy and cute. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So how is it going with your puppy? And so I'm just kind of eyeballing this and seeing, you know, what's it seem like? Uh, what am I kind of seeing? And what I see is that the nose is just this big shape here. And then the rest of the head is back to the left a little bit. And so this big shape is, you know, it includes the ear and everything else. So I'm going to start trying to find where the edge of the face is and the ear starts. And like how big that face is. It's just kind of like, it's very round when you just look at the, part of the face with the eyeballs in it. It's very round. And so that line down the front of the face, it feels like it helps a little bit with figuring out how the structure works, especially since so many animals have that line down the front of the face. It's kind of like the white striped on the front. And, uh, our dog has that too, the white stripe, well, Otter does, right down uh, the face, and you have some horses with this, and it just seems like uh, a lot of different animals have that. So in here, the more I look at some of these edges, it's like, that's just all fluff right there. There's some structure underneath, and then there's just all this... <laughs> <laughs> fluffy hair on top of it. So let's see. So there's the stripe that comes down like this and then it comes out and then let's see where does that nose fall in relation to the stripe? Okay, so the nose starts right about here, just to the left of the left edge of that stripe. And then it ends way over here, like almost at the edge of the face. It's a nice big nose. And let's see. It's at this little bit of an angle and it's really pointing that way. Okay, so, so far, <laughs> I've got a big circle and a little circle and this nose shape right here. And so the stripe down the nose, that's, It's over pretty far and then it lines up with the um, the middle of the lip area so I'll scoot that over a smidge and let's see. so I am using let's see. 
So <laughs> the other day I was using the 8B pencil and it would not erase at all. The 4B pencil, it will erase. So <laughs> I guess that's good to know. Keep in mind. So the stripe, it's in the middle of the front of the nose, but then you're seeing a lot of the side of the nose here too. So the left side of this nose is going to look a lot whiter than the right side. Um, because you're seeing the side and the front over there. And then on the right, you don't see the side. And so... And so we could go a lot of different directions here. We could do like full on cartoon dog or more realistic uh, dog. I tend to gravitate towards the more um, realistic kind of sketches, you know, and so this guy really looks like it lends itself to cartooning, you know, it's just so expressive. And So there's just this little bit of a mouth here. Nope. <laughs> okay. And so the two things that looked so cute to me were this real flat nose or the muzzle and then these eyes. That is the dog face right there. Uh, yeah, and so, let's see, let's find them. So, I like, um, just as my own, what is fun in drawing. I like to draw a gazillion different lines and then just find which line seems like it's in the right place and go from there. Um, it's kind of my favorite way to do it. Um, and some, sometimes people love that method and sometimes, you know, if, if you don't have like having a gazillion lines on your paper, that can, uh, not be as much fun, <laughs> you know, this method isn't as much fun in that situation if you don't like it. Um, but that's, that's why there's so many different lines here. And then if I get some that are just really far out from where I want, I might erase them a bit just so it's easier to understand what's going on. Alrighty. Let's see if those eyes are big enough. So... The eyes... Everything is angled down just a smidge here, the eyes and the nose a little bit. Um, and so I'm just drawing a horizontal line across the top of where I want my eyes and the bottom so I get a more or less um, symmetrical. And depending on, you know, if you're in real life, you know, depending on how close you are, the things that are closer might seem much, much bigger. Or, you know, depending on what kind of lens this person used, taking the photo, the closer I could look a lot bigger. I'm just trying to get in an eye shape to start with. Of You know, I'll put it here and I'll see if it looks right. And then I can adjust. And so there's this, the white part of the eye, there's this kind of long pointy curve. It's like a little bit pointy on the bottom. 
that really accentuates this puppy looking up. And it's a little too much. And <laughs> hi, cars. How adorable, right? I was looking for some eyeballs to draw and um, this guy popped up and I just could not resist spending some time staring at this guy. So cute, right? And <laughs> I don't know, it just looks so, everybody's tiny. Oh boy. And so the eyeballs looking up and <laughs> kind of in slightly different directions too. This one's kind of looking up here and this one's kind of looking up there and oh, it just makes it cute. So let's see. So both of them are pointed up the same amount and so having the iris end kind of in relation in the same place on both eyeballs I think will help. Um, so I'm just drawing lines all the way across to help me uh, figure out where things begin and end. And so let's see, having a lot of dark right around these eyeballs is going to help so much because it's really those crescent moons of white under there that helps him look like he's just looking up, up, up. And, and this one too. Get some get a little bit of the dark at the top. And so there's these beautiful reflections in the iris, but to me they don't look all the way white. They look light gray, but not as not like the white part of the eye. So I am just gonna put one layer of lines on the iris and um, let's see where we can go from there. Is that it is so square in the top. It's so cute. So there's this on top of the head there's kind of something similar that was happening over here where the fluff there's just this huge fluff and the sunlight's shining right through it. Okay, so there's the top of the head here and then the darker part of the ear kind of folds around like this. All right, let's see how that goes. And then there's just all this fluff. <laughs> it's got the light coming right through it. So beautiful. Okay, and so Cars, welcome and hello if I have not said it yet. It's very nice to see you. And so I'm just trying to find like where are some landmarks here that will help me see what this shape is. And what I really want to find is where's the edge of that ear, but I'm trying to find all the landmarks that are helping me figure that out. And so as the ear comes pretty close to the eye, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. So the width of the eye is much wider than from the eye to the ear and then there's the ear kind of angles in <laughs> that lip <laughs> so cute oh my gosh uh, 
so around here, if there's just something sad or unwholesome in the media we are consuming, I always insist on a little bit of kitten or puppy time. <laughs> <laughs> just pull up the YouTube, like, uh, puppies playing, or that kind of thing. As it just fixes a mood really quickly. And so this, uh, <laughs> this is reminding me of that a little bit. Not a lot, but like once a month. Something like that. If there's, if there's just some you know, an ad that pops up that's really like, oh, I wish I hadn't seen that or you know, something like that. Like, I think it's time to see some puppies playing. Compensate for that a little bit. And... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yes. So, we have one comment that this is the flat pancake position, and it absolutely is. This is the flattest pancake. And another comment <laughs> that maybe because this is October, we should put some little fangs in a vampire collar. And... <laughs> You know, he is kind of flying there. Why not? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, yeah. Our, uh, Dozy likes to do the flat pancake too, but he's, um, he's, a little bit round so it doesn't have the same effect <laughs> this guy looks like very flat very flat puppy and let's see um <laughs> i think i was laughing too much i kind of lost my <laughs> It's not here. So what was I doing? I'm trying to find how that relates. So I feel like that's pretty decent positioning. So I'm going to erase some of that extra stuff. And I love having lines and then erasing them. And then, and then the paper has a little bit of like character right there. I think that's a lot of fun. Um, and The ear here, the darker part of the ear, it almost accentuates the eye a little bit. That's kind of interesting. I hadn't really noticed that. And and then there's this uh, longer for the feathers and the ear. And there we go. <laughs> and so there's all these feathers and, you know, with hair, I have found for myself, at least the real trick is to try to see it like it's a solid as much as possible and then maybe pull out a couple pieces um, with with a little bit of lines but um, to try to see it as a solid as much as possible it helps it it helps it somehow to look more realistic more more like hair but also it helps to not be frustrating trying to draw it and you know if you try to draw every hair 
that is an enormous undertaking. And, uh, and if you just try to draw a form that's, I don't know, kind of a cylinder here almost, and then differentiate just a couple places, like maybe the darker area in here, um, I think it, it makes it easier and it makes it easier to understand <laughs> what, uh, when you're looking at it. Um, so this stuff up here, let's see, I'm just going to erase some of the extra stuff. You can see I, I moved his head quite a bit since I started. Stuff moves as you go along, that's okay, you're just getting more and more specific. It's part of the process. And this line, I outlined it to, um, I'm going to get rid of some of the outline. I like, I like that it's shaded in, but I think the outline, especially up here, it feels like an end of a form and it's not the end of the form. It's the end of like where the form is darker. So I'm going to just... Sometimes it's kind of nice to put in the outline of, you know, where, where the hashing will darken something and then get rid of the outline afterwards. And so there's this hair that comes down here, a little bit more hair here, and then the foot. Whoop. Oh my gosh, I keep thinking, where where exactly do those fangs go? Like, if this is a little vampire puppy, where do the vampire puppy fangs go? Like right there, maybe? <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know if that gets to stay there. <laughs> um, alrighty, so let's see. I get there's on this side there is the darker area and then the sunlight's coming right around here. It's so beautiful. And so I'm just gonna darken up some of this darker area. And over here there's let's see. I think the cheek needs to move in just a smidge. So I just keep working on uh, moving things until I feel happy with where they're at. And it's, it's okay to keep moving things and it's okay to not keep moving things if you, uh, if you get them where you want at the beginning. So. so let's see this ear kind of, comes around like that and and then this cute little feet oh my gosh Wee. little foot pads and toenails here Dog feet are pretty wild when you start looking <laughs> closely. And then over here, same thing. There's little little toes. Uh, I can't totally see what's going on because there's so much fur. So I'm just going to squiggle here. And I can't see where the end is. And so I'm not going to fake it. And that side too, I'm going to. I can't see the end. So I'm just going to let it be a vignette. And, uh, and then there's... It looks like a <laughs> back, like you mentioned. Oop, all right there. Um, and so there's a light side here, and then a little bit of shadow here. 
and you know you can't really tell what's going on there I think that's okay I don't think everything has to be said in a drawing it's okay for some stuff to uh, leave people guessing and, and I don't know what's going on back there so I'm just gonna erase some of this stuff and let it be a little loosey-goosey right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he does have, look like he has good swimming toes for sure. And, uh, oh my gosh. Okay, so... I know I wanted to accentuate the whites of the eyes by getting it really dark around. So I'm gonna get those a little lighter and then get darker around the eyes. And then also the nose, get that nose a lot darker. And so, I get the really dark parts really dark. And noses are such a funny part of of uh, art making because you spend a lot of time looking at faces and you know what they look like and you know what to expect. But you don't necessarily spend all that time looking at a nose. They're kind of like ears. Like they're they're complicated. They get some of the strongest values on a face. Um, but it's almost like if you you can. You can do them really well and have them still disappear even though they're big and have a lot of value. Uh, so I'm just going to work in my way up to getting the dark values on the eyes. And there's this little shadow under the nose here. Let's get some hash marks there. And then there's the darker over here and this little like expression whatever is going on over here it's so funny um, oh, so cute and okay so there's darker fur all around here and then lighter fur here and so just because it's white fur doesn't mean it necessarily will look white but certain parts of this really do like up here and let's see and then down here there's a little bit of a shadow and then over here, there's the furry last edge. Oh. And, okay. Okay. So let's get those eyeballs in there. What do you think? Um, so with a pencil, you can erase, but if I go all the way dark, I can't get back to like an all the way white. Um, so I want to be a little cautious since the eye is so shiny, it has a lot of, um, variation. 
like really light lights next to, next to some pretty dark darks. And so I'm just going to pick out where to put a couple reflections. Hmm. Let's see. It's easier to leave them light and then darken them lighter than the other way around. So get the darkest dark red up here. And then there's this darker area. Darker eyeliner almost. Right around the eye. And and then let's see. I'm just kind of adjusting and put a little bit more dark darks in there in a couple places and okay <laughs> oh my gosh okay I'm gonna darken that part up a little smidge Oh, that's interesting. So eyes, <laughs> a lot of facial features can change an expression so much with like little changes here and there. And a pointy thing right there really, really changes the whole expression. I'm going to soften that up a little bit. It's uh, it's funny we have there's just such subtle changes that can completely change an expression here. So, uh, and sometimes it's just like the difference between very very different expressions is just like almost a microscopic line. And let's see. Just kind of cleaning up my eraser and And so I don't have any problem with getting out a white pencil to go over it if I feel like I'm frustrated and things didn't go where I wanted them. Um, I'm going to sharpen my pencil a little bit. So um, my pencil, you know, it looks pretty sharp there, but it's dull enough that I can't totally control where my lines are going. And... So I'm going to sharpen it up a little bit just since I'm doing such specific work here. It's kind of funny. It's like it's nice to start your drawing with a really dull pencil <laughs> and then um, finish the drawing with a really sharp pencil. Okay. Alrighty. So. And any time you manage to get yourself some fresh eyes, use them to your best ability. Like really take a look at what you're drawing and see 
uh, what's working and what's not working. And okay. And let me know. Um, Um, let me know uh, how your drawing is going. And so I raised a ton around his eye because um, I was trying to soften that up. So I'm getting some of that value back in there. And there's this nice shadow around the ear when it comes around like this almost. And I'm just going to darken that up. And since my pencil is so sharp, I'm leaning it way over. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I think I just got couple of new frames delivered. I have a new gallery. I'm so excited. I just sent them four paintings and I'll be sending them two more as soon as I get my other art framed up. So it's very exciting. And uh, Happy lunch and uh, and thanks for joining and so I'm trying to think of what a um, vampire cape looks like I know it's pointy but I can't think of what is it pointy like this <laughs> hello oh <laughs> it sounds like everybody's lunching how funny and, and here we go. Well, welcome back. And here we go. Let's see if one more eye, what this does to the whole drawing. So I'm trying to lean my pencil down really far so I get the not quite so sharp Part for these bigger edges and I'm trying to save my real sharp part for some drawing right in here and there it goes so this eye let's see there's this reflection around the side of the eye that I think might be really helpful. And, and one thing I've noticed, especially for trying to capture real realism in eyes, is that irises aren't necessarily totally round. Um, and they have much softer edges in certain places than others. And let's see. And so I'm just trying to look at the photo more than I'm looking at my drawing almost. And I'm trying to decide where exactly I want my darkest darks. I know I want this part up at the top to be really dark and over here there's obviously beautiful lighting in this room I want some symmetry in the light between the two sides so I'm gonna leave a nice highlight around the edge and then right in there maybe I think, let's see, if I had put the highlight up higher, I think we'd have even more of that 
like cartoonish cuteness. Let's see if I can actually erase into this. And okay. I'm gonna try to get that little highlight way up high. So there's a little bit of a shadow from the eye lid. I'm just gonna Gosh, I cannot believe how much easier a 4B will erase than an 8B. Yeah. Uh, good to know. I guess I'll only use the 8B if I'm <laughs> ready to commit to something. Okay, so. I, uh, yeah, with the 8B, I could not get it to erase for anything. Okay, I'm going to darken this a little bit. I'm just kind of seeing what happens with a higher up reflection. I just have the feeling it'll accentuate this cute little looking up situation. And put it over here too. And <laughs> it does have cute whiskers. Uh, oh, oh, sure. Mm. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. And let's see. Okay, so, and you don't have to finish both eyes like all the way. You can definitely leave one more finished than the other. This one, let's see, my angles aren't right, so it's looking droopy. Dun, 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 dun. Um, I'm going to bring down the top. So I do it. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, I haven't met very many of these kind of dog um, in real life. If I remember correctly, they're, they're like very intelligent dogs. Oh, Kenna, hi! <laughs> Welcome! Okay. And... There's something about this um eyelid and the shape that really make that eye go up 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 and let's see let's give them a little bit more whites there and you know, sometimes if I'm trying to erase something that's really tiny, I'll um, I'll use a knife and sharpen my eraser a lot more. Um, and let's see. There's something not quite looking upwards about this eye on the right. It's like almost, but not quite. I think it needs to be a little bit more narrow. Just trying to look at, you know, the photo and what makes that eye really look like it's looking upwards. And So there's a little bit of the shape of the eye is helping. And let's see. And the shadow is helping a little bit. And
Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. They really are they one person dogs? Is that is that their thing? I uh Yeah, some dogs are are much more of a one person dog and uh no other people will quite do. Okay, I think that is a cute puppy. <laughs> There's some little teeny vampire teeth there, as suggested for October, and cutest, cutest little vampire guy around. Maybe he can be all dressed up, uh, and you get a little bit of the fluff here, and. Let's see. I feel like I would not be able to do a good job with the uh <laughs> with the collars. I don't remember what those look like. <laughs> so he'll have to be like sort of a, a, a sneaky <laughs> sneaky guy. All right. And uh, so here is this guy. Um let me know how the drawing goes for you. For for anybody who's drawing along, you're always welcome to tag me on Instagram at Jesse Rashi or um or email me. And um and um please like if you like, uh subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and uh come back next week at the same time to draw together again. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, that sounds kind of perfect. Yeah. Well, you are so welcome and thank you for joining. And, um, yeah, have a wonderful rest of your week. And